What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video I want to talk about future events. Now it's been quite a crazy week, it really has. Basically it's been confirmed that in the year 2 of Destiny we would not be getting any DLC story expansions and Bungie are going to be doing events here and there to keep us tied over until Destiny 2 later next year. And although many people ain't happy about this we don't know what events they have planned but what we do know is one will be big. In the update which dropped yesterday which can be found linked in the video description if you guys want to check it all out. They mentioned they have things in in the works which seems good as stated in the update they mentioned we will be seeing new events and activities in the year to come the first being in early 2016 and i'm guessing it will be an event they state in the update it will be on a scale close to that of the festival of the lost which wasn't massive but surely could be if put into the right places the second day state will be far larger than anything we've seen since the Taken King and there's also a massive update planned to come out with that second event. So what could this event be? We can all speculate but me personally I feel sooner or later we will see old raids resurrected and brought back to us, offering new loot to obtain and hopefully more of a challenge too. This does make sense if you think about it, I mean we have the Vault of Glass we have Crotus End and we have the Prison of Elders. They could return for one big special event or even at separate times. Could this be the second event of 2016 they talk about in the weekly update? And that massive update that comes in the same window being the update which changes what needs to be changed to prepare us for old raids and the Prison of Elders. I mean think of it this way, the Vex, the Necrochasm, the Lord of Wolves, the Queen Breaker's Bow, the Dreg's Promise. These are all exotics originally available from these places. None have received year 2 upgrades. Why is that? None of them were considered OP, but the Vex was an amazing weapon. Also the changes they made to the Necrochasm made it sound like a great PvE weapon, but without upgrades, they are useless. Could it be that Bungie are waiting for these special events before we see upgraded versions? Who knows? If these events have nothing to do with the resurrection of old raids, what could they be? I mean we've had candy collecting and sparrow racing, two things I would never put into our original Destiny universe. So who knows what they have planned. I know what I'd love to see but it ain't gonna happen. I'd love to see a one on one fighting event in the style of Street Fighter. Now that would be sick, but yeah keep dreaming, keep dreaming. All I know is without the plan of future DLC expansions, these events which I believe will be dropping more often have big shoes to fill and a mistake on Bungie's behalf will cost them more so than it has already. But guys let me know what you think about these future events down below in that comment section, what they could be, what you'd like to see. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, do drop a like, I do appreciate the support, subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one, peace out until next time, peace! We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.